What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're coming at you with another statue slash figures review. Review number 189, as you guys see right here, we have a piece again from Game of Thrones 330, courtesy of Sideshow, Cersei Lannister. Uh, this is the 1-6 scale collectible figure, Game of Thrones. Um, it's still in the plastic, as you guys will see here. Uh, pretty basic, as I learned, pretty much all these are slip covers. So, let's go ahead and uh, take the plastic and the slip cover off. Probably take a look, a little quick peek at the uh, window here. So, let's go ahead and take a look at that right now, guys. Okay, guys, I'm boys and girls, I just uh, ripped the slip cover off of this. This is the back of the box, which I really haven't been showing it to show more. Um, as you see there, the Lannister, Lannister, House Lannister Sigil, Game of Thrones logo, Cersei Lannister here, the Roar Lannister. As we go to the front or the side here, just a, pretty much the same thing, the Sigil and her name. Same on the other side. And here is the window display, which doesn't give you much of a good look. I see that she has the uh, crown there, the Queen's crown as well as uh, some interchangeable hands, etc., some extra joints. So let's go ahead and uh, open this up. We'll take a look at the parts before putting it together. So, guys, review number 189, Cersei Lannister. We're getting close to that 200. Remember, after review number 200, we're doing a giveaway, guys. Completely free. I don't know which one it's going to be yet. We'll figure it out. So let's go ahead and take a look at these parts right now. And here's the parts, boys and girls. Uh, looks like this is going to be pretty easy to assemble. Mostly, uh, comes pre-assembled, so I love that. Anyways, um, as you see here, Cersei Lannister in the black dress. The little crown right here, better look at it. Um, let's take a pretty good look at this, actually. The crown looks pretty good. I mean, I have the replica, which I'll show you guys at the end of the video, um, that I bought through Factory Entertainment. It's really good uh, portrayal there of the 1-6 scale. So, a um, couple interchangeable hands there. Doubt we'll be using those, but we'll see. So, let's go ahead and fully assemble this, guys. For review number 189, Cersei Lannister Game of Thrones 1-6 scale to 3-0. Purchased through Sideshow Collectibles. Let's take a look at this thing fully assembled right now, guys. Okay, guys, quick little uh, clip right here. As you see right here... Um, Here's Cersei, pretty much assembled there. Um, but I noticed one thing here. If you look at the feet, um, they actually, I've never noticed this. They put the 3-0 logo on the left foot. And on the right foot, they have the HBO 2019 licensing. I want to say I received this in December of 19, January of 20, maybe as late as February of 20. Um, but it is a rather new figure. I think you could still maybe get this through sites like Big Bad Toy Store, etc. So let's go ahead and set her up, put the crown on Cersei, and we'll give her a better look. Review number 189, guys. Don't forget, hit that like button if you're new here. Slap that sub with no design, because you don't want to miss out on this opportunity of a free giveaway of one of these high-end statues slash figures. So let's go ahead and take a look at this fully assembled and give it a better detailed look right now, guys. And here's Cersei Lannister, boys and girls. Game of Thrones 1-6 scale. I'm not going to lie. I really like this statue, or this figure, actually, not a statue. Um, now, I'm going to maybe do something different with the hands, but honestly, that's not a bad pose at all. Um, maybe whenever I go to set up some kind of, like, uh, recreation of a scene or something, maybe have her alongside Jamie Lannister, um, I'll probably do something a little bit different of a pose. But let's go ahead and take a look here. I mean, the... Material's really good. I want to say it's some kind of like uh, nylon or it's not nylon. What was the what, what would this be? It's not well. It's some kind of high. It is. It's actually fabric. It is okay. And one thing about these three zero guys, they do not come with stance. So you got to position the feet just right, or she will fall over, as well as any of them. So I'm going to position her correctly. Move this box in the back because I want to show you guys a couple things. There is one like semi flaw to this that I've noticed already. So let's go ahead and stabilize her and we'll take a look at it side, side, back, back, back and front and with great detail. And I will show you the one small flaw with this Cersei. Okay, guys, let's give this a better detailed look now that I've stabilized this figure. Um, let's start with the head sculpt as we usually do. Um, of course, I can do a little better job there on the crown. 
Um, but this is where the flaw comes into effect. I mean, I want to say the head sculpt, about a 7 or 8 out of 10. They definitely did okay. But I think they could have done a little bit better. That's one thing I've noticed consistent with the Game of Thrones lines from 3-0. Some of them are really good, but most of them... How can I put it? They're not on the quality of Hot Toys. I'll put it like that. But they're still really good figures. Sorry for the camera here, guys. But, I mean, overall, I guess if we zoom in, it's not a bad portrayal. Let's just kind of take a look at the side there. Yeah, I'd say from the side... They did a lot better job, but looking forward directly at it, it's 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 off just a little bit. I don't know what it is, but something off just a little bit with this. But when we look at the side, it's really weird. But anyways, as we see here, guys, the uh, the shoulder pads, the the steel shoulder pads here, the chain, and it is an actual chain. It's not like you know molded in. Um, I like the design that they used for this uh, dress that she's wearing, as she wore many in the uh, the whole series. But as they chose to go with this one, I really like it. Let's just take a better detailed look at the patterns here. Um, not much really to do, like you know, with the house landish or anything. But you know, it's just a dotted like diamond with uh, like a, a black with gold diamonds. I know it looks kind of silver. Um, the rings here on the hands. There's one, and on the other, as she wore that throughout the pretty much the whole series right there. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at it here from the side. And I'm going to show you the flaw, guys, after we go over the figure. Um, this is the right side of the figure, guys. Let's just do a close-up. I mean, the side, I don't know why, but from the side, the face sculpt looks dead on. Like, looking forward, it's not dead on. It's just, it's so weird. Maybe it's an illusion. Maybe I'm freaking tripping. But anyways, here we go. I mean, it's a really nice figure. I mean, it's the only Cersei Lannister out there that's of any quality. That's not like Target brand or something. Um, here we go. Here's the back. I know you guys probably remember that logo there. That's freaking awesome. That's a nice little touch they did with that logo there. That uh, I guess that would be some kind of button there on the back. But that's really cool. As you guys see, I don't know if I noticed it, but the chain, it goes around under the shoulders, the armpits kind of, goes through the front, through the back, which is really accurate. So there's a good look at the back. Let's take a look at the left side now. I mean, the more I'm, I'm looking at this figure, I really like it. Yeah, overall, I mean, it's not a bad figure. On a scale of 1 to 10, I mean, if we're looking at the front, just strictly the front, I would give it like a 7. But now that I've kind of went over it all, I'm definitely going to give this an 8 out of 10. Um, and here is the reason why. But before we do it, show you guys the flaw. Um, let's just go up from the bottom to the top. Really slowly so you guys can see the details. In case you are interested in purchasing this set, this figure for your Game of Thrones collection. Or even as a starter piece. Or you just want that one nice figure to have to any collection. Or just prop up beside your TV. Etc. And I really like how they did the crown here, guys. Like, that's a nice touch. Now, the flaw. It's not too bad, to be honest. But the head is not stable. Watch shot. Look, hey, there goes the crown. We'll take that off. Set it right there. And as you guys see, let's take a look at this crown. I know we went over it just a little bit. But uh, what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to bring this at the end of the video and show you this compared to the replica from Factory Entertainment that I do have. And we'll see how that works out and looks uh, how, how accurate they did it, actually. Um, okay, the flaw. The head, boys. Okay, look how easy this comes off. Excuse the camera angle there.
But look, at, I do not like how they did that. I don't know if that piece pops off. I'll look into it. But as you guys see, I mean, the head just comes off so easy. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back on. We'll give it one last look. We'll compare this to the, the crown to the, the uh, full-size replica. So let's do that right now. Okay, guys, so now that you've seen the flaw, I mean, it's not too bad, really. Because who's really going to, you know, once you put this on display, I don't think it's going to matter that much. But there was one loose piece in there. I think it was to prevent scratching. I did take that off. It was just a completely loose piece on the, uh, the joint that the head goes on to. So let's go ahead now and take off this crown and compare it to the full-size Factory Entertainment uh this is made through 3-0. Factory Entertainment does the replica swords, sta uh, some statues, not many, and the uh, the crowns. We had Joff Joffrey, um, Cersei, and I want to say King Robert Brathian. So let's go ahead and take a look at that, guys. I'll take this small crown off her head. We're going to take a look at that. To make this video a little bit shorter, I'm going to try to do it real quick. So let's do that right now. Now, okay, guys, here we go. Uh, back on the channel, if you just look back, um, I did do a review on this uh, Cersei Lannister crown. There were only, I think, 500. There is a stamp. Uh, I got number 66 of 500 here. The Royal Crown of Queen Cersei Lannister. So, as you guys see there, uh, this has really good detail. I like how they actually did this. I know I've done a review on this already, but this thing is fucking sick. Well, excuse me. I mean, I mean to say that word, but sometimes that happens. Um, anyways, the crown uh, is probably one of the less, like, you know, how can I put it? Like, catchy, like, bedazzled, or... Less, has less pop to it than any of the other crowns. Like, King Joffrey probably had the best crown, um, in my opinion. Now, let's take a look at the replica right here. Here is the replica. Which, let me just set it here and zoom in on it. So, if we take a look at that. There we go. That's probably a better look. And then, we take a look over here. There is a little bit of a difference here, guys. Okay. Now, notice the three rings here on the top. And they kind of are very prominent. And you can definitely tell the difference. Now, if we look over here, that is those three rings are not prominent at all. They kind of just worked with what they had and kind of shortcutted their way to making the crown the best that they could. Um... It kind of looks like there's a, almost like a face, a skull type look in the middle there. And if you look over here, not at all really. I mean, I guess I could kind of pick up on that. But overall, I mean, it's still close to this crown here. But, I mean, I think they could have done better. So, that's why we'll go ahead and give this, I mean, with the small little flaw with the head on this, on this figure, just, you know, Easily coming off of the off of the joint, um, it's kind of a flaw, but you know, with the crown on, it still looks good. So let me go ahead and set this back onto her. I'll position it perfectly later, but overall, guys, we're going to go ahead and rate this an eight out of ten. Good statue or good figure. I keep saying statue, but good one six scale figure here. Not bad at all. So. Review number 189, guys. That's going to go ahead and close it out. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry for going a little bit longer. I try to keep all these under like 12 minutes. I know we're going to run a little under 15 minutes here. But I want to thank you all for watching, guys. Don't forget, if you're new here, guys, hit that sub button. You don't want to miss out on the giveaway upcoming soon. And if you can hit that like button, you're a G. And I sure appreciate it. So, guys, that's going to close it out. Review number 189. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.